Uh, this is a great star. We think that it has a bright future. What if there existed a urine-powered battery that offered a cheap source of power? The latest development comes from Stanford University, where researchers created an aluminum ion battery that uses an electrolyte material made of urea, the main component of urine. So what is the real reason they developed this battery, and how does it actually work? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Can't wait. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. This isn't the first battery or device to use pee power either. In the past, urine has been used to power dead phone batteries and pee powered toilets. Go figure. Yes, pee powered toilets were even once used to provide electricity to disaster zones. This new battery is also an update of a first-of-its-kind aluminum ion battery introduced in 2015 by Stanford professor Hong Judei and his team. The original version used a chemical mixture known as EMIC, which is one part ethyl, three parts methylimidazolium chloride as its main electrolyte ingredient, but mostly the same, except for the use of urea instead of EMIC, which is 100 times cheaper and produced commercially as a component in fertilizers. So how much does a new aluminum ion battery cost? The most attractive feature of this battery is its low cost. The researchers said that the estimated price of the new aluminum ion battery will be around $8.99 per kilowatt hour, which is 12 times cheaper than the 4680 battery from Tesla. As we know, each 4680 pack costs $7,400 to produce, which means we get a cost per kilowatt hour of $104. Moreover, if produced on a large scale, urea currently costs 50 cents per kilogram when produced on large scales. LIFC or lithium bisfluorosulfanilamide, I hope I'm saying that right, is an electrolyte for the 4680 battery. Its cost was was $98 per kilogram. Aside from aluminum and graphite, the electrode materials in an aluminum battery are also very cheap and would be negligible in the overall cost of the battery. What you have is a battery made with some of the cheapest and most abundant materials you can find on Earth, says Day. And it actually has good performance. Who would have thought you could take graphite, aluminum, and urea and actually make a battery that can cycle for a pretty long time, says the good professor. But speaking of which, how is the efficiency of this battery shown? Despite having an energy density that is half that of the 4680 battery, the new aluminum ion battery, aluminum ion battery has a better charge discharge rate, is non-flammable, and charges in 45 minutes as opposed to almost an hour for the 4680 battery. But our uh, aluminum battery is uh, non-flammable, so if you drill the hole through it, it's still running for a while. Day and Angel's battery was designed to provide a solution to the grid storage problem. According to Angel, grid storage is the most realistic goal because of the battery's low cost, high efficiency, and long cycle life. One kind of efficiency, called coulombic efficiency, is a measurement of how much charge exits the battery per unit of charge that it takes in during charging. Try to say that five times fast. The coulombic efficiency for this battery is high at 99.7%, but then how much energy can they produce? This battery measures just one square inch or about the size of a postage stamp. Currently, it can generate around two watts per cubic meter of energy, which is about enough to power a cell phone. But the team is working on improving the design. But the team is working on improving the design and the researchers said they are confident they will be able to increase the performance. Now, when compared to the 4680 battery, how long does it last? For commercial viability, a grid storage battery battery would need to have at least a 10-year lifespan. The urea battery has reached 1,500 charge cycles in lab conditions, but the researchers are pushing to extend that by tinkering with the battery's chemical processes. For comparison, 4680 batteries have between 1,000 to 2,000 cycles depending on the nature of charging. We find the difference in cycle life to be negligible. But are aluminum ion batteries really safe and environmentally friendly? The battery is also carbon neutral, according to the research 
researchers, which means no additional carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere when it operates. The cost effectiveness of this material, the cost effectiveness of the materials used, the zero emission of harmful gases, and the use of waste as fuel with the additional advantage of treating waste while generating electricity all contribute to how the device can support secure, affordable, and environmentally friendly energy. So how is this battery used in the real world? So you can have a, a potential uh, application in like a grid scale electric storage. So it's quite exciting. As the demand for renewable technologies grows, so does the need for cheap, efficient batteries to store the energy for release at night. They believe their battery might be the solution to the conundrum of renewable energy storage. And grid storage is the main goal. With this battery, the dream is for solar energy to be stored in every building and every home, Day was quoted as saying in a news release from Stanford. I would feel safe if my backup battery in my house was made of urea with little chance of causing fire at a day. Maybe it will change everyday life. Moreover, according to the International Energy Agency, around 1.2 billion people in the world don't have access to electricity. By developing cheap and simple ways of generating electricity, people in these poor and developing or rural areas could be helped much sooner, the researchers said. The technology has the potential to address the poor sanitation in developing countries and remote areas while generating electricity. The researchers have reported their work in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences and licensed the battery patents to AB Systems. A commercial version of the battery is currently in development. They are also planning to work on increasing its lifespan down the road by further investigating its internal chemical processes. In short, the birth of a new battery is the beauty of science, and that's why we get excited thinking about all the brilliant minds, all the brilliant minds hard at work on the great challenges of tomorrow. Hopefully this look would should hopefully this sneak peek should give you an idea about some applications of batteries made from urine, or at least its byproduct. How do you feel about the battery that's powered with pee? Do you think it can be used on electric cars? Wouldn't that be interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.